Maybe of all the things that fascinate me most is to be able to look at the chemistry of ageing. And in our case, as we've opened up a field of metals in human disease, to understand how much of ageing actually is related to good old fashioned chemistry and how the chemistry of a leaf ageing is very similar to the chemistry of a worm ageing, is very similar to the chemistry of why you or I would age. Uh, and that, that is mind blowing. At the end of my training in psychiatry, I realized that there were many difficult diseases of the brain for which there were no useful treatments whatsoever. And amongst the most common that I had encountered was Alzheimer's disease. Very early on, during my uh, PhD with Colin Masters, we saw that the amyloid that accumulates within the brain in Alzheimer's disease, and specifically its precursor, the protein that gives birth to this amyloid, biochemically reacts with zinc. And this, in a test tube, gives a striking resemblance to the pathology down the microscope that Alzheimer himself first saw. A quarter of a century later, we understand a great deal more about this connection between that protein and the metals within the brain. We understand, for example, that the proteins that are implicated in Alzheimer's disease, and there are a number of them now, uh, all function in order to regulate the levels of metals within the brain. The mainstream thinking doesn't come up with treatments for Alzheimer's disease, so anyone who wants to try to make a drug for Alzheimer's disease has got no choice but to go against mainstream thinking. The approach that I've taken has involved looking at something which was really unfamiliar to neuroscience, and that is the chemistry of metals, and try to combine it with something that's more familiar in neuroscience, that is the biochemistry of proteins and the regulation of genes. What we found was that there are chemical reactions that occur where you could imagine creating a drug. Perhaps within five years it's realistic enough to think that we may have had a striking enough result with one of the brain diseases that we're tackling to say this class of drug works for a major brain disease, hopefully Alzheimer's disease. But if not Alzheimer's disease, then another one which is also severe, such as Huntington's disease. I'm very proud of the team um, that I've assembled and it, it incorporates people from all kinds of disciplines. I also work with uh, biotechnology companies uh, who've given great support over the years in order to take the drugs that we uh, imagine and move them through the testing phases. Government commercial partnership is tremendously important also for us to actually come up with practical treatments and cures and new drugs. The prize encourages scientists like myself to persevere with the very uncomfortable risks involved in loving being a medical researcher. I'm Professor Ashley Bush of the Florey Institute of Neuroscience and Mental Health, and I'm honored to receive the Victoria Prize.